Home Affairs and Cultural Heritage Minister Kazim Kazim has said police will leave no stone unturned in hunting for perpetrators of violence and caution political actors against prematurely making conclusions or apportioning blame to anyone before investigations are completed. In the aftermath of political violence that erupted in Kwekwu during a Citizen Coalition for Change CCC, campaign rally in which one person died, Minister Kazim told the Senate during a question-and-answer session that the Second Republic under President Nangagwa has consistently spoken against all forms of violence. MDCT leader of the opposition in the Senate, Mr. Douglas Munzara, had asked what the government was doing to forestall political violence in the country, particularly incidents that occurred in Gakwa, Kwekwa, and Chittingwizov in recent days. Regarding the incidents that took place in Kwekwa, Minister Kazim said 16 people were arrested, but five appeared in court in connection with the death of one person during a CCC campaign rally. It is premature to point fingers at one another. Let's allow the police to carry investigations. Unfortunately, people are quick to make conclusions when the police are yet to give conclusions. There will be no sacred cows, and I urge citizens to allow the police to carry their investigations," said Minister Kazim. Earlier on, Minister Kazim told the Zimpaper's television network, ZTN, that President Nangagwa had directed that people involved in political violence in all its forms should face the full wrath of the law. Violence is not tolerated at all, regardless of who does it or perpetrates it. We are saying no to violence. President Nangagwa is on record saying no to violence and he means it. He has directed us to ensure that anyone involved in political violence should be accounted for. No one is above the law, he said. Minister Kazim said the Second Republic has made numerous strides in curbing violence and anyone found to work against that will be accounted for. We are saying no to political violence, we have come a long way and believe that we do have some good levels of democracy in this country where people are free to express themselves. As you have noticed people can insult anybody not that it is a good thing, but clearly shows that there is democracy in this country he said. Minister Kazim said opposition parties have been holding their rallies unhindered. We are simply saying no to violence, and the president is on record, at every gathering he is saying no to violence which means there is no one above the law. We are appealing to our people out there to say let us campaign freely, peacefully without any violence we are one country. The president is saying Nika and Avakwa Naveen Bayo, but that is hard when we are fighting, he said. This comes after Vice President Constantino Chiwenga last week issued chilling threats against the opposition CCC saying the ruling party was ready to crush the party like lice to prevent its leader Nelson Chamisa from winning elections. Addressing a campaign rally in Kwekwu, Chiwenga warned that the ruling party was unflinching in its resolve to crush the CCC like lice. I have heard others here saying down with triple C, let me assure you that there is nothing that it can achieve, you see how we crush lice with a stone," Juenga said. You put it on a flat stone and then flatten it to the extent that even flies will not make a meal out of it. Juenga said Zanu PF was as big as the biblical Goliath and would not allow Chamisa to seize state power in an election. Ironically, the biblical Goliath was felled by a young David with one stone. You heard Blessing Chibundo speaking here that people should not oppose for the sake of opposing. You can't oppose every time, even the best thing can be opposed, you opposing is who, we are as big as Goliath, we will see him when time is ripe, Juenga warned.
with you.